I was actually just on a really big high. I'd done my first professional race, um, and I was exceeded all expectations. That year, I was definitely one of the big favorites to go win the junior world title. And I actually then learned I had Hodgkin's lymphoma. I remember asking him, like, well, am I going to live? Like, what's the prognosis? Like, and so for a day or two, we didn't quite know what was going to happen. And so once we got the news it was Hodgkin's lymphoma, we kind of had a little celebration because it's one of the most curable cancers. So it was like while the journey was going to be very hard to beat the cancer with very intense chemotherapy, I was going to be able to get through. So actually, I raced a lot with these bracelets. It's with a cancer charity that I've got called Cal's Angels. And they helped me like, immensely through my entire like, cancer treatment and support and just being there for us and my family. And so actually now a lot of times when I'm just out training or racing, sometimes when I'm having a tough day or looking down, I'll look at these and I'm like, you know, you've been through so much more. You used to be on your bedside, super sick through chemo and just wishing you could be out there and dreaming one day to be out here, not just competing and living, but also just like at the highest level and making this a career and profession at the Olympic level. So, and so I just look back at those moments when I've just like, this is where you want to be. And now I'm very fortunate to be in this position where I am. Tears just came down instantly. I was just like kind of just a little bit shaky and just like, are you sick really? And it was just like, this is happening. And it was like, just this wave of emotion. The goal is to not just go to the Olympic Games, but to truly compete and be up there and be in the running for as high of a position as I can individually. But then I also think that we have a really special opportunity with the mixed team relay. We're going there with our eyes set on gold.